Let me bring it back to Chikati on this. And Chikati, we don't want to talk so much about the shift plan because that is a, an active matter in court. But we know that the housing levy was 3.5%, shift was 2.75%, now it's NSSF 6%. Is it fair to burden Kenyans at a time when they're suffering with all this? In as much as the Honorable Ruku says it's making the difficult decisions, but the timing of it all. The, the initial intention and purpose of uh, these uh, taxes was to stabilize the country. That, was the, that is the most important thing that we must all understand. That for many years, Kenya had relied so much on borrowed funds. And um, if we continued with that trend of borrowing, then we will get the country into a lot of trouble with our partners. And therefore, the in initial intention and purpose was actually the stability of the country when it comes to financial management. So the purpose uh, is not, is not uh, bad. Uh, and so what happens when you, when, when you are in a situation like the one President Ruto took, uh, took over when he was taking uh, over power, is that there must be some pain in recovering our country. It, it is not just going to come for free. There must be some amount of pain. There must be some amount of sacrifice. And therefore, this calls for sacrifice from all Kenyans, uh, that uh, for us to stabilize the country, there must be some amount of, of, uh, of, of, of some pain, some sacrifice going into it. So the overall intention is not, um, is not actually to punish Kenyans, it's actually to stabilize our country. 